So, Freddie Prinze Jr. is a complete moron, and I have some empirical evidence to prove how. Hey everybody, it's PB here, and I'm back, this time with another Star Wars video. And today, we're going to be going over how Freddy Prinze Jr. is a complete moron, and I have a bit of proof to show you how. Now, we can go back a couple months, I believe it was when he was on Jeff Dye's podcast, and he went totally crazy off the rails, but the entire crux of his argument was this. You just pissed off that Han Solo gave the fucking Millennium Falcon to a girl. <laughs> yes. That's it. <laughs> now, since that is his argument, that he believes that we're all upset that Ray got the Millennium Falcon... Maybe he should educate himself before he goes on a rant because the Rise of Skywalker has released their visual dictionary and it allegedly fills in plot holes from the movie because, you know, that's how Disney Star Wars does it now. They don't just give you a movie that doesn't have a boatload of plot holes in it they give you a movie and say, hey, were you confused about this? Just buy this other product. Just read this comic book. Just read this novel. If you read this other thing, if you watch this other thing, then our movies will make sense to you. Here, I'll give you a little hint. They won't. Anyways, that's not the point. The point is, in the visual dictionary, it's got all kinds of facts that Disney gives to us about their Star Wars movies. So let's just go through a couple of their facts here real quick. So blah, blah, blah. Spoilers ahead. Oh yes, definitely. Let's, you know, spoilers ahead for this wonderful showdown between these two, you know, guy in a cracked mask, even though he's not wearing the mask when they fight because he looks like a wet cat. Ugh. Ridiculous. Anyways, that's not the point. That's not the point. We gotta move forward. Lando's name. No one cares. Nobody cares what Lando's middle name is. Uh, Janna's age. Nobody cares. Uh, Janna uses... Janna touches Babu Frick. Nobody cares. Uh, the horses. Nobody cares. Uh, the Sith Troopers. Nobody cares. Okay? Um, the age of Luke. Uh, like, we know how to do basic math, people. We can go back and figure out how old people are. You don't need us to tell us, or you don't need to tell us in a book how old people are. We can figure it out. We can do basic math. We're not fucking idiots. Uh, Starkiller Base was a different planet. Okay, that's nice. Kylo Ren has to go to Vader's castle on Mustafa. Why do you got a fucking jingle dog? Go lay down. Son of a bitch. God damn it. Ray reassembled, you know, in, in the Jedi text that just tells you how to put a lightsaber back together, apparently, I guess. That's that's what we learn here. Luke trained Leia. Oh my gosh, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Star Wars Rebels, World Between Worlds. People don't watch Rebels. Every time it comes up, I was like, there's time travel in Star Wars. People go, where? When? And then I gotta go, oh, you didn't watch Rebels, did you? Nobody's ever watched frickin' Rebels when I talk to them. It starts to get annoying. The alien with the furry hands. Nobody cares about his name either. The names of the Knights are in. Nobody cares because they don't do anything of importance. Uh, the biggest ship in the fleet. Nobody cares about that either. Oh, but then we get to the most important piece of information that has come out since The Last Jedi and makes... Freddy Prinze Jr. look like a complete fucking moron. It says, Chewbacca lent the Falcon to Hondo Onaka after the Battle of Krait. Not that Rey lent it to Hondo, but that Chewie did. So, it would almost appear 
that Disney Star Wars with their visual dictionary is telling us that Chewie is the one that got the Millennium Falcon, just like all of us in the Fandom Menace said it was supposed to be. Surprise, surprise, that's the way it is. Following the Battle of Crate, Chewie lent the Millennium Falcon to Honda Onaka, a, ah oh man, I don't know how to say that word, Weequay Pirate and Entrepreneur, who was featured in Star Wars The Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels, for supplies for the Resistance. Furthermore, that storyline, it says this, whatever, I'm reading it to you, is what Smuggler's Run at Galaxy's Edge is based around. So, remember, next time you go to Galaxy's Edge, and you're going on the Millennium Falcon, you are going on Chewie's ship now. That is who it belongs to. Kylo slash Ben Solo killed his father, and then we all thought, and we were told by all those wackos out there, oh, well, Ray got the Falcon. She's the one who took it to Ock 2. Well, except that there was a giant furry carpet with her the whole time, and sure shit, all we had to do is wait until the uh, end of 2019, and there's the proof that... Chewie's the one loaning out the Falcon to people, so obviously he's the one with the pink slip to the Millennium Falcon. So, suck it, Freddy Prinz. Maybe you should uh, get educated by your master, Dave Filoni, before you make a complete fucking ass out of yourself and look like a moron. But, you know, what are you going to do when you're just trying to attack fans? and say, well, I hope that when the fans give backlash against your product, I hope that that doesn't work. I hope that Sonic fails so that people don't give the fans what they want. What a ridiculous son of a bitch. But that's all I got for you this time, everybody. Until next time, I bid you adieu. If you are enjoying the content, please hit subscribe and ding the bell for notifications. That way you will never miss an upload by Pop Culture PB.